Welcome to, to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Scala developers encounter. Why do I need to use end? Then in order to pattern match futures. Our viewer has discovered that when trying to match for success or failure in a future, using map doesn't work as expected. Let's dive into this intriguing topic and uncover the reasons behind it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue with pattern matching on futures in Scala. When you use the map function, it transforms the value inside the future, but it doesn't allow you to pattern match on the success or failure cases directly. In your example, you attempted to use map to match on failure. However, the type of the result is not compatible with what map expects. This is why you received an error message. Instead, you used an then, which is designed for side effects and allows you to handle the outcome of the future, whether it's a success or a failure. The key difference is that map is for transforming values, while and then is for executing code based on the outcome of the future. This is why and then works for your case. In summary, when you want to pattern match on the result of a future, use and then or similar methods like onComplete. This allows you to handle both success and failure cases effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To pattern match futures, you need to use a nos to, then because of how the map function is defined. It takes a function from A to B and returns a future of B. Essentially, a future can be seen as an async type that wraps in either, which includes a potential error. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You need to use and then for pattern matching with futures because the type signature isn't correct. When mapping over a future, you should provide a function that takes an A and produces a B. Instead, consider using recover. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.